Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install the XBGuard Stealth Server onto your JTAGR RGH console. Make sure that you are on dashboard kernel version 17.559 as well as that you have an active connection to the internet on your console. Whether that be Wi-Fi or Ethernet, as you can see I have an IP address so I'm good to proceed. I highly recommend that you use Ethernet. Just my advice though. Now, go into the description of the video, download both the XBGuard Stealth Server files as well as Dash Launch. You will need to have Dash Launch installed onto the root of your hard drive, so if you have not done so already, go ahead and do that. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be copying over these files using a USB drive. Feel more than welcomed to use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, but just to keep things simplistic, I'm going to use a USB. Once you've downloaded the files, copy them over to a USB drive and then plug that USB drive into your console. I'm using Aurora as my file browser. You can also use XEX menu, as well as if you want to go old school, use Freestyle Dash. So, Open the XBGuard Stealth Server folder, click on Hard Drive, press X to copy over each one of these files, go over to the left, press A to copy, press LB. Now that you're in the root of your hard drive, go over to the left, press A to paste, and select Yes. So as simple as that, now all we need to do is restart our console, and I'll see you guys when I come back. Now that our console has been restarted, just be patient, this is going to take a little bit of time to load. As you can see, we're now loaded into the XBGuard Stealth Server. Do keep in mind that this Stealth Server is not free. And even just for unlimited access, it's $15. The free version is called their light mode, so you don't have access to all features. Just something to keep in mind. So I'll go ahead and sign in. And as you can see, we are on Xbox Live on our console using the XBGuard Stealth Server. So I really hope this video helped anybody who's ran into any issues or just needs help bringing their modded console online. And as always, thank you all for watching and take care.